So it was kind of an accident. Um, I actually um, was, I had a college counselor. Um, I was in a boarding school in Massachusetts and she uh, was aspiring to get me uh, to be a doctor. Um, and my, I wasn't exactly the greatest student, uh, but she noticed that I was, uh, you know, uh, was working as a lifeguard. Uh, and she thought that that would be a good investment of my, my parents, uh, you know, attempts to get me to go to college and do good things. Uh, and her husband at the time uh, was a deputy fire chief at the volunteer fire department that served our campus. And she thought maybe if I, you know, go got to meet him and learned about the, the medical first response that they did in the community, that that would be inspiring. Um, and so I did, and I went down, and, and they uh, uh, gave me a Kojak light for my car. You know, Kojak, the old red light that you could, you know, open the uh, window and put it on the, the top of the roof, and I could, you know, I, and they told me I could leave class. Um, and so at 16, I thought that was brilliant. And, uh, and what I learned very quickly is that I was afraid of fire, <laughs> uh, and I didn't want anything to do with, with firefighting, um, but I was fascinated by medicine. Um, and fascinated by um, both the idea of medicine, being able to help people in that regard. But something that um, kind of ruined me for being a doctor is I was also fascinated by being invited into people's homes um, when they were in need and being present in their homes and helping them and taking care of them and then enabling them to get to um, the hospital to, to get further care. Um, and so a lot of times, many of the things that people are talking about today, about trying to understand the community and, and kind of taking uh, you know, care to the bedside and all of these things, well, that's what paramedics do. Um, so I spent my entire clinical career um, going into homes you know, six, eight, ten times a day and interacting with people and their families in their home, where they live, where their challenges are, um, where they want to go back to. And, um, and that was really exciting to me. And so I ended up, um, you know, uh, wanting to stay there versus uh, going into, into the hospital and spending too much time in there. I got, got enough of that exposure when I went to the emergency department, but I wanted to get back out and be outside and be in people's communities. Mm -hmm.